Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. I have a box Stradivarius trumpet in my shop and it has dents in the bell rim. Here's the bell up close and you can see that there's a dent and it's curved and it runs like that on the trumpet. And if you turn the bell a little bit you can see that there's a corresponding dent. It's smaller but it's still there and it's curved in and goes up the bell too. And I'm going to turn the trumpet around so you can see inside the bell. And you can see the dent that, here that goes into the bell. And on the other side you can see that it goes in. And the reason this dent happened this way is because the trumpet took a hit right here. And if you look at it from a different angle, you can see that the bell was pushed in right here. And that's why you have the corresponding dent. And something a lot of people do not know about Bach Stradivarius trumpets, they often get dents in the bell like this but also those dents are very easy to get out. The reason for that is at the factory when they are made they soften the metal as they work on it and they do that by heating it up and they do that several times when they make the bell. That's one of the reasons the box Stradivarius trumpets sound so good but it also causes the metal to be very soft and dent easily but it also makes the dents very easy to get out. The bell flare is the bottom about two inches or five centimeters of the bell and when there are dents in that area these are the most common tools that I use. One of the tools is called a bell iron and they call it that because it's shaped like an iron and another one is called a bell flare mandrel and you chuck that into a vise and you put the trumpet bell over it and you have to be careful when you do that and then you can hammer down the bell flare with a rubber mallet Another one that I use is called a dent roller and this is the most common one that I use and this is a smaller dent roller. I also have a larger one for uh, large brass bells but for trumpet it's almost always the small dent roller. And then the other two tools that I often use on bell flares are the rubber mallet and a rawhide mallet. And these two mallets I usually do not use by themselves but I use them in conjunction with one of the other tools. Also it works better on metal that is very hard and the box Stradivarius trumpet bell metal is very soft. When I'm removing dents on box Stradivarius trumpets I rarely use these two tools because usually it's not necessary. If you want to see a video on how these tools are used look in the description below for links to those videos. Also towards the end of the repair I will probably need a small dent hammer. So that leaves us with just two tools and these are usually the only two tools you need to fix the bell flare dents on a box Stradivarius trumpet. Now you chuck the dent roller into the vise. I will get started and show you how to do it. There are two different directions you can get dents out on this. Either from the inside or from the outside. And you start with one. It really doesn't matter much which one you start with. I am using some pressure. Uh, it might not be quite as much as you would think to get dents out of metal, but uh, I'm pushing as I go, as I'm rolling them out, and I'm going to switch sides. And pretty much you just go back and forth with these dents. You roll up where the dents are. You can see where the trumpet is making contact with the dent roller because in that spot the metal comes up just a little bit. So you make sure that where it is contacting is right where the dent is. You do not want the part of the dent that is up touching the mandrel, but you want the part that is creased down touching the mandrel. And as you do that, you roll it out. You don't need to get the dent out all the way as you go past. Just get it out part of the way and work your way around. Now, since this is creased upward, what I'm going to do is take this, turn it around, and go at it from the other side. And I'm rotating it as I am getting the dent out. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to follow the contour of the dent. So that is going to require rolling it. And one thing you have to be careful of is don't go off the edge of the roller because if you do it, it's going to make a big crease down the bell and make a big mess. So you always need to know where the, the roller is when you're doing this job. So now I'm going to work my way a little farther in and again I'm not getting the dent out all the way. I'm just getting it out part of the way. You want to work the dents out slowly because if you work them out too fast you're going to end up with a big mess when you're all done. It's going to end up with a whole bunch of creases and you don't want that. So just work it back and forth uh, from the inside and the outside 
uh, work your way around the bell and then when you get to the end you start over and you can switch sides to the inside there are a few more dents a little farther up because this dent worked its way all the way up to about here so you don't want to use this tool much above this spot you can use it maybe a little bit higher but you start getting into here and it makes flat spots in the trumpets and another thing you do while you're doing the dents is you feel it with your hand because you can feel dents better than you can see them and I can feel that there's a dent right here and I'm going to push that one out now the dents are most of the way out and it, I've only been working on this for a couple of minutes and it's really not that hard to do. Now I'm feeling for more dents. I can feel one right here and I'm going to push that out from the outside and I can see on the inside where the roller is and I'm paying close attention and trying to get only the high spots now the dents are out most of the way but I can still feel a dent right here and if I keep using this it might make a flat spot so what I'm going to do now is take this and with my hands I'm going to push like that and you have to be careful because this metal is soft and you can mess it up by pushing it too hard. If you remember, the dent goes on both sides of the trumpet. So on one side, I put my fingers over the dent. The other side, I put the palm of my hand over the dent. I'm not touching it in the middle here, just on the two sides over the dent. So put your hands over the dent. And sometimes it helps to pull out the tuning slide. I'm going to get that out of the way. I probably should have done that sooner. So I'm going to take that and push and again don't use too much pressure you can make a big mess when you do this so I'm pushing using a flexing motion I don't know if you can see that in the video I feel the bell again and now the oval part around here is mostly straightened out but right here I can feel that that part is still sticking up a bit so I'm going to push that in Now there's a low spot here, and I'll push that out. And you just go back and forth until the job is done. It's a few minutes later, and I got most of the dents out most of the way. But if you remember, the bell was warped a little bit. Uh, it is a lot better now, but it is still a little bit warped. When the bell took the hit, it bent up one side, and then the way the metal is, it bent down the other sides, and it bent up the opposite side. So the bell is warped, but by getting the dents out, it took away most of the warp, but still, it's not like it should be. To show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to put the bell on a flat surface, and you can see that if I push down, it rocks the trumpet back and forth, so you can tell where the high spot is. It's right here. The way to solve that is figure out where the top of the high spot is and put your thumbs right there and pull down with your fingers on the opposite side because remember that one spot's going to be high and the other spots are going to be low around it. So flex it a little bit. Remember be careful. If you don't know the amount of tension to use, just do it very lightly at first and then get gradually harder. And when you get dense out, always remember to use the flexing motion. And that's where you go back and forth with your pressure. Now to see if the dent came out at all, put it back on there and see where the dent is and if it's any better or worse than it was before. And not much has changed, so I'm going to push a little bit harder this time. But remember, be careful, you can damage this when you do this. Try it again. Okay, now the, the dent seems to have transferred from like over here to over here. So I'm going to push that out now. Okay, it's a lot better than it was. When I push on it, most of the way it's good. Right here it might be slightly high. 
So I'm going to give that just a little bit of pressure. Not too much. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm turning the trumpet around as I'm feeling for dents. And there are still some dents in here. It's a lot better than it was, but there are dents. So what I'm going to do is go back to the roller. Now I'm going to touch up the last few dents. Now turn this around. Get the dents out from the other side. There. One thing that I'm doing as I'm working on this, I need to know where the end of the roller is at all times. So I have my hand in the bell and I am feeling the end of the roller. Because if this starts rolling down and going off of the roller, there's going to be a big crease in the bell. You have to be careful from both directions, from this direction and from this direction. You need to make sure you do not go off the end of the roller. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to feel around there again, and it feels pretty good. There's one spot right here that I feel, and I'm going to push that out from the outside. Okay, I think I may have transferred the dent from one place to another, so... I will roll that out again. Okay. Get at it from the inside now. I'm feeling for dents again, and it feels good. The only place there are dents left is right along the edge of the bell. And the reason for that is because the, the rim on the bell, it does not allow the roller to get right up to the edge. So there's about, oh, I'm going to say half inch or one centimeter gap that you cannot get with this tool, at least not from the outside. You can get it from the inside, but not from the outside. The way to fix that is with a dent hammer. There are only two dents left, one here and one here, and I'm going to push those out with a dent hammer. Take the dent hammer, usually the flatter side, but you can use the, the more rounded side if you need to. What you would do is put that right underneath the dent, and push on it. And again, don't push too hard at first. Get a feel for how hard you need to push and then do the pushing. And you can follow where you are uh, just by looking where the metal is coming up. You can see it through there. I don't think you can see it quite as well on the video, but you can see it just fine if you're doing this in real life. And I'm at the other dent, pushing that out. And that looks pretty good. The dents have been removed and the repair is done. Something to remember when you're doing dent work, uh, every dent is different. The dents I showed you are going to be different than the dents on your trumpet. So you do it in the order that it needs to be done. And if you need to go over something again, then do it again. And if it does not need to be done, then don't do it. You only need to do what you need to do to get the dent out. Also remember, no dent will be absolutely perfect when you're done. You can get dents a lot better, but they will never be perfect. So you smooth them out as good as you can, but you realize that it will never be perfect. Also, you will not want to start your dent working practice on a box Stradivarius trumpet. Get another trumpet that's in really bad shape that you don't need to feel bad about messing up and work on the dents on that trumpet first and then work your way up to better trumpets when you feel more comfortable about doing dent work on them. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.